There are many useful apps included with both Windows 10 and 11 by default that often get overlooked by most users. Coming up, I'll show you 12 of those neglected apps that might be helpful for you, all of which are built into the operating system, so hopefully you find at least a couple of these to be useful for you. Let's get started. To save time, all mentioned coming up can easily be found by going to your start menu or doing a search on your computer. For quicker access to those you like, they can also be pinned to your start menu and taskbar. A good app to begin with is Tips. It's especially handy for those of you getting started with Windows or upgrading to Windows 10 or 11. Separated into various categories, these will help you to get more familiar with the operating system. You'll see some of the most popular categories listed with the number of tips in that category. Clicking on Show All Tips will show you additional categories. Selecting any category will display the tips to help you get the most out of your computer. The Clock app includes five features. Focus Sessions is a new Windows 11 feature that's especially handy for those that work at home to keep them focused on a particular task with less distractions. Below that is Timer, Alarm, Stopwatch, and World Clock. Other than World Clock, we find the others are better handled using a smartphone or smartwatch. World Clock is quite useful if you have friends, family, or colleagues in other time zones. To add another city to your World Clock, click the plus in the lower right. Enter the name of the city, let's go with Berlin. Select it, then click on Add. Clicking on Compare in the lower right is beneficial to compare the time zones you've added to your World Clock. For example, if I had a colleague in Tokyo that wants me to call them at 9 a.m. their time, I would click and drag the slider for that time zone to the time of 9 a.m., then let go. That would let me know the time in my local time would be 7 p.m. when compared with 9 a.m. in Tokyo. For basic edits to your photos, the Photos app built into Windows is not as feature-packed as third-party software, but just might be all that you need to edit a photo quickly when you're in a hurry. To begin, Click the Edit Image icon here at the top. There are four categories here at the top. Crop lets you crop an image by dragging the corners along with the top and bottom. Additional tools below the image let you rotate. And you can flip the image horizontally and vertically. Adjustment gives you several choices here on the right. More than a dozen filters are included for you to play around with and you can mark up your photo with tools located below the image. The Calculator app is the most useful for me in this video. Because I use it daily, I keep it pinned to the taskbar for quick access. When you launch the app, you'll see a basic calculator for adding, subtracting, division, and multiplying. When you click the menu icon in the upper left, there are four other calculators to choose from, including Scientific, Graphing, Programmer, and Date Calculation. Below that, there are more than a dozen conversion tools that are quite useful as well. My favorite is the Currency Converter. Updated each day to reflect current rates, select your country, just about all are listed. Enter an amount, we'll go with $1. Then select the country with the corresponding currency you'd like your money converted to, and it'll show you the currency exchange rate. The News app is one that is underutilized. You'll see many sections at the top, including My News, which is based on topics of interest to you, with various categories to the right of that. To update your interests, click the Edit icon in the upper right. You'll see the topics of interest below. Using the search bar, you can search for and add an interest that will surface articles to you based on that interest. And you'll see it here below. Here you can select one of your interests to see articles on that topic alone. The Get Help app is great for those times you want to learn how to set up or install software or hardware on your system, and you can also troubleshoot issues to get them resolved. Just type the keywords in the search box for what you're needing help with, and you'll get suggested help topics. For example, if you keep getting the dreaded blue screen of death, type blue screen, then select troubleshoot blue screen error in Windows. It'll walk you through a process to narrow down and fix your issue. You might also see recommended articles below that that might help you out as well. To organize and play the music you have on your Windows PC, for the last several years, it's been an inconsistent experience, especially with large collections of music. 
Recently with Windows 11, they replaced their Groove Music app that's still available for Windows 10 with the simply titled Media Player. And so far it's a lot better and haven't had any issues. When you go to your music library, you'll see your music in three categories, songs, albums, and artists. There's a button to quickly shuffle and play your music and selecting the headers for your collection lets you easily navigate to the song, album, or artist that you're looking for. For navigation, Google Maps and Waze is what we normally use. The Windows Maps app is useful prior to leaving the house to check traffic alerts. A feature only available in the US and major European cities also lets you see if there's any traffic cameras along your route. To enable this feature, click Map Views in the upper right. Turn on Traffic and tick the boxes next to Incidents and Cameras. As you can see, here in New Orleans, we have a lot of traffic cameras, so if you plan to visit, be careful driving. They'll send you a ticket in the mail, no matter where you're from. If you're using the Microsoft Mail app, your information from that app, including birthdays and events, get automatically imported into their calendar app. For this video, I'm showing a blank slate of this app to ensure the privacy of my email contacts. To add holidays to the map for your country or any other country of interest to you, click Add Calendars here in the lower left, then select your country. You can add as many countries as you want. Let's go add another one right now. You'll see them listed under Holiday Calendars here on the left. The Weather app is not only nice looking, it also includes a ton of information, which might be too much for some people. In addition to the current temperature, here at the top, it shows the feels like temp, wind speed, visibility, barometer, humidity, and dew point. Below that, you get a 10-day forecast. Clicking on details gives you an hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Further down, you get additional information, including the current phase of the moon. There's a tab on the left that will show you the local radar. And below that, you can get historical weather data for your area. For years, the Microsoft Store was overlooked because it was a hot mess. A recent revamp has improved it quite a bit. There are tabs here on the left to find software for your computer. AAA and indie games are available, both free and paid. And you can rent or buy movies and download the most popular streaming apps. Formerly known as Windows Feedback, the Feedback Hub app is the place to report any problems you're experiencing using Windows 10 or 11. And if you have a feature you think Microsoft should implement into Windows, you can let them know that as well. Some of you have commented in prior videos regarding the regressive nature of Windows 11 and do understand why you're upset. Hopefully if enough people send in feedback, Microsoft will fix those issues. But honestly, don't hold your breath. The team currently working on Windows right now is quite stubborn. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What built-in app do you use with Windows 10 or 11 that you think gets overlooked by most people? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell for the latest on Windows and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.